Hey everybody, I just wanted to say like good morning and also show my copy of The Golden Treasury of Palgrave. Palgrave's Golden Treasury. Palgrave's The Golden Treasury. Trent and Erskine here. They're, they are the two who edited this edition and I think they published it in 1912. The Athenian Press published it. And I think they added a bunch of notes and um, things to try to help general readers. This is the nice title page. I haven't read Paul Graves' preface yet. I should probably do that. There are four books. Book one contains a lot of Shakespeare in it, of course. Book two is, um, book two covers the years of 1620 to 1700. Book three is a bunch of 1700 stuff. And then um, book four is a bunch of stuff that you'll probably recognize. Three is a very interesting book because it has a lot of 1700s poets that you'll probably not recognize, and a lot of Thomas Gray. As you can see, the notes are pretty extensive. Uh, pff, extensive. They're very um, extensive. Um, a lot of definitions. Peers, for instance, at line 26 on page 308, means those of equal station. The, as I said, there are a lot of names you'll recognize in book four, and in book four you get a lot of Wordsworth. Um, certain poets kind of rule the respective sections. Although you do get some rarer poets, like Thomson, for instance, that you, is hard to find elsewhere, that are peppered throughout. Thee neither know I, thee neither know I nor thy peers, and yet my eyes are filled with tears. Sweet Highland Girl. Book fourth also seems to be the longest book because, I mean, it starts right in the middle here. So all the others are encompassed in this, like... Earlier part. As I said, there's a lot of gray in book three. I just like the pages of this book. It's really nice. It has a nice close to it. Um, this this series of standard English classics. I bet there are other good books in it. Maybe I should go look. Here, there's proof of Thompson. As I said, if you guys, if you, if you all would like to see my um, nice Thompson book, maybe I'll read some stuff from that and talk about that later. This one has Rule Britannia. And I, this doesn't look to be one of one one of Thompson's better poet better poems um so yeah i just wanted to show this book maybe i'll read more from it in the future or show something cool that i find in it but this is just an introduction i like the standard english cla english classics edition it's rather compact as you can see it's about like mass market paperback size yeah, so there is some thompson in here but uh, i do have this two volume edition of thompson from 1854 volume one contains a biography and volume two has more more on those books later more on all the books later. Everybody have a good day.